And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're gonna talk about my second favorite pinball machine of all time, the Machine Bride of Pinbot. Playing it here on the Pinball Arcade, where they've actually just called it Bride of Pinbot. I think the full name is the Machine Bride of Pinbot. And I just absolutely love this pinball machine. It's great. I mentioned when I went to the Northwest Pinball Show in Tacoma in the summertime that I was really enjoying getting my hands on the real Bride of Pinbot machine. Look at this thing. This is amazing and it's a heck of a lot of fun to play. It seems to be one of those popular ones you always get at these shows and I just had a great time playing the real machine. It's definitely my second favorite pinball machine ever. The version you get for the Pinball Arcade is a very good recreation, so let's uh, show off the game and I'll talk about why I like it so much. The objective in Bride of Pinbot is to build the bride. She's kind of this Frankenstein monster cybernetic or android lady. Um, and uh, as, as you go through, uh, there's various targets here, like the shuttle that I just hit. That actually activates the ability to now make her speak. You just gotta get the ball back up that ramp. There we go. I can speak. Oh, no. <laughs> we need shuttle launch. Now she can speak. Next, she needs to be able to see, so we have to launch the ball up there to get the optical circuits enabled and land it in the eye. Partial optical link. I'm actually doing surprisingly well here. Um, so yeah, now we just have to bring her to life and essentially we do the same thing again. We launch the ball up where that shuttle ramp is and then put both of these multi-ball in play up into the same area. There, I got one of them. I feel strange. It does not compute. Just have to get the second one. A little bit easier said than done though. Ah! Oh. Alright, lost the ball. And now she changes back, so now once again, we have to get the ball up and into her eye after enabling the optical link. Now unfortunately you can tell I'm not doing as well, but uh, I can talk a bit more about the table here. Um, it looks really amazing. I love that um, changing face thing, and when you stand at this angle, her eyes, because there are two lights going through two holes, they are empty sockets staring straight at you in a way that's both creepy and fascinating at the same time. Really, really like how they've done the design on this table. Fantastic work. Um, I, this is one of those ones that, you know, if I had the space and I had the capacity and the mechanical know-how, I would want to buy this table. But just look at this thing. It, it'd be a very... Um, Embarrassing thing to uh, have uh, guests pop by and see this um, kind of sex creature lying in the room. Like if you look carefully at the play field, that's her body. She's got a couple of red lights in some fairly um, obvious spots. Uh, I'm not going to draw too much attention to it, but there is in fact a missile right between the flippers there. That's sort of suggesting a few things. So um, yeah, she she's a... She's a sexy machine, and she knows it, and she's flaunting it. Um, anybody who's interested, just take that into account if you're thinking of buying this. Oh good, I can make her see again. Let's see if we can get further this time. Wow. 
Yeah, I can already tell I'm not going to do well here because I lost the second ball. You have to you have to put both of them up back in that ramp that leads to her face in order to get her to come alive. However, uh, look at the play field. You'll you'll notice a spinning wheel in the center. That's um, that's I guess that's her tummy. Um, you actually can score by shooting the ramp just left of where the shuttle ramp is. You'll get small wheel bonuses, and if you do really well, you actually unlock big wheel bonuses. I'm turning back. Unfortunately, because I did so poorly, she's now back to where I have to land the ball back in her eyes. You see what I mean? It's this lengthy construction of the bride that's going on here. And that's uh, one of the other problems with the game, if you will. Um, it's great for a single person to sit back and just try to construct the bride and enjoy this uh, very cool, cyber, creepy Frankenstein game. It's not so great for multiplayer, because if you've got somebody who really knows how to construct the bride and do well on this table, the other player's gonna kinda be sitting around for a long time waiting for their turn, so that's something to take into effect. Ooh, I got her. What's happening? <laughs> Yeah, I've often wondered if you're a first time owner for a Bride of Pinbot machine and the whole table goes black like that and then the heartbeat and the strobing lights, do you freak out? Oh, and there's the big wheel bonus I mentioned before. Well, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. We're back at square one. We're going to rebuild the bride from scratch, enabling vocal cords and then optical circuits. So this is pretty much how I'm going to wrap up my game here, but I absolutely love the Machine Bride of Pinbot. Oh, and for those wondering, because I hadn't mentioned it yet, I've already done a video about my number one favorite pinball machine of all time, that being Black Knight 2000. I'm going to wrap up and do my number three at some point, but there's something I need to do a video about before that. So for now, we're going to stop here with my number two, the Machine Bride of Pinball. And until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.